very good. Bravo. Bravo. Very, very good. Bravo. My first solo piece is called Fantasy, and it can be just about anything you want it to be, but uh, they helped me to think of it as an entire opera in about five minutes. So it, it, it changes a lot throughout. So here we go. Mozart.
going to turn it off. Turn it off, yeah. <coughs> Not go down there. Okay. You have to clean the bowl. Okay. Now, the, 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 job. Very, very nice. the piece by Chopin, I think it's completely <coughs> the opposite. I don't think it's dramatic at all. It's called Nocturne, so it's something that happens at night, and it just kind of flows, and sometimes it gets a little bit more exciting, and then it calms back down again. Chopin wrote 27 of these nocturnes. I can only play one. <laughs> one. One more beautiful than the next. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bravo, bravo. Very, very nice. Very soothing. Oh, very, very beautiful. Yeah, make a nice piece. Very nice. She's not looking at the book. Yeah. You have it all memorized. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize when they so turned out in this game ahead. that that was part of it. <laughs> now, when did Chopin write this piece? Actually, this partic that particular nocturne, nocturne was yeah. published after he after he died, so it was posthumously. I would say um, since Chopin only yeah. lived. 36 years. years, I believe, oh, wow. 30, 37 years. <coughs> he was born in 1811, so he, maybe he's 20, 25 years old he was. Uh -huh. well, maybe it's hard to say because he lived such a short life, whether he wrote this when he was 25 or in right. his 30s. Right. Uh, I'm just curious, what's the concept before, uh, behind this nocturnal kind of the, the composition? Well, you know, he wrote 27 of them, he must be thinking something. <laughs> I, what I the composition